and GBG. What up, BBGs? We're back with another BBG Talks episode. Yeah, so welcome, welcome to our podcast. And it's been a while, actually, since we did this. Um, I know it's been a while because we have to clean this table off, and uh, that took a while. So maybe we'll attach a picture. This is how it looked before, uh, and now it's, it's clean. So yeah. yeah, every every BBG talks, we just make sure we clean up before we do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's motivation for us to keep it tidy. And exactly, stuff. exactly. Um, but yeah, so we have a lot of news coming up because I mean, people are discussing a lot in down in the comments and a lot of our videos. There's a lot of stuff coming out. So let's dive right in. We're going to talk about new products, we'll talk about the anime, and then we'll go into a few comments too. Yeah, react to your comments, and yeah, uh, so what, what do you want to start first? Of course, let's talk about the newest release that's coming out in a few days. You guys keep on, uh, you know, writing in the comments, of telling us to talk about it and all that, so let's do it. Yeah. Infinite Achilles. Yeah, Random Booster Volume 22 is a brand new Achilles. Um, it's coming in a branded booster, so mm-hmm. yep. you know they what they know what they're doing. If they want money, it's just like making us buy all of them again. They put one of like the most popular characters into a random booster, and come on, it's like obviously everyone's gonna buy it. So yeah. marketing move, spot on. Not only right? that though. Not only that. Yeah, that's right. There's more to it. More to it. You get that prize bay. And you don't even get the full combo. Like yeah. you don't get the full actual like you know advantage all the parts. of all the modes. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So Infinite Achilles comes with three different modes that you can use. And if you only get the prize bay, you only get the balance mode, which is when um, Infinite Achilles is not using any of its attachments. Yeah. Uh, and you get the Infinite Sword, which is attack mode. Exactly. So you guys remember Union Achilles have the Union Sword, so you can take the sword off or take it yeah. uh, or, or put it on. Yeah. Um, same thing for this Achilles. Yeah. You can put on the sword. It comes with the sword attachments, yep. but you have to buy the separate random booster, uh, the black one here, yep. um, in order to get the shield piece. So it's yep. like it's like exactly. Pokemon Sword and Shield, and they want us to buy a DLC. So yeah, I guess we have to buy all the whole set again. Yeah, it's just like when they did the Diabolus Bay. They basically put you know Abyss and then you know Death two separate, right? So you're actually aiming to get two prize bays this time around. Yeah. Um, so yeah, your infinite Achilles will not be complete unless you get both of them. So yeah. it's a smart move to Karatomi. Like you guys know how to get our money. That's for sure. Yeah. So let's uh, dig right in about the parts and things like that. Yeah. So the design looks really awesome. It kind of reminds me of that Chosey Achilles. Oh, for look, sure. The two vibe. swords. It's like the vertical swords and whatnot. It looks just like Chosey Achilles. Yeah. Yeah. So Legit. two major blade contact points uh, yeah. there. And then yeah, stays true to the design. Uh, I like the sword right in the middle, like it looks very heavy, like with the metal and stuff yeah. like that. Um, it comes with uh, the parts, I think it's 1B, mm-hmm. it's the same yep. thing that came with uh, King Helios. Helios. Yeah. So yeah, no new chassis, but I guess like the, the ring and the attachments is kind of like the star of this combination. But uh, yeah, like that infinite sword's looking pretty intense, like a beefed up union sword. Yeah, 1B is not bad. It's still like a pretty uh, stable chassis, so it's a good piece to have if you don't have yeah. King Helios. And then um, the driver comes with is uh, the same thing as last time, or, or the previous releases, and we have Dimension Dash. Yep, so Dash version of Dimension. Very obvious, like, balance type driver, cause, right? Because we've seen that multiple times now. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty sweet, right? Because you can basically change up the modes by just twisting. The only thing you have to worry about is the driver basically changing modes by itself mid-battle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, like a really fun driver to use. I wouldn't mm-hmm. say it's like the best thing ever, but yeah. it's uh, it's really creative. I liked how Takara Tomi designed the, like, that driver. Yeah. Uh, the way it moves around the stadium and the ways that you can customize it. It's, it's fun. It's fun to play with. Um, and then like overall, the random boost is actually pretty sick because it comes with a bunch of other bays too. Ooh, yeah. yeah. So you got stuff like the Dragoon V, right? Ooh, OG. OG. Right? And a Drigger V too. So we get like two OG bays in there, um, and another one I wanted to know is like that Super Satan bay that has like that really cool blue recolor. Mm-hmm. What an intense name, Super Satan. <laughs> yeah, most of you guys probably don't really care too much about the OG bays, but I know there's a couple of you guys. Yeah. If you care, comment in the section below. Yeah. If you're an OG. Legit. Uh, yeah, so that's like the main release uh, for Random Booster Volume 22, October 24th release. So we're we'll getting that later this month. Maybe, yeah, this time, you know, just to keep the hype up, maybe we won't buy the whole set. 
We'll just go random. Let's actually, actually bring it back to basics. Let's go random, random. Uh, beat links, beat, beat links, beat links. links. <laughs> Shout out to you guys who know what we're talking about. Yeah. And that's that's legit real old school. Back right in there. the days when, you know, when you couldn't afford Beyblades, when yeah. we couldn't afford all the releases, we just yeah. had to buy one and we had to hope for the best. Pretty much. Yeah. We need, we should, we should just, yeah, try yeah. Give that a try. Maybe. Housing on section yeah. below if you guys want that. Comment down below if we should just go random, like actually random this time, or buy our full set like we usually do. Let yeah. us know. You guys will determine our fate. <laughs> so other than the October release, the next thing after that is the November release, and we actually already have some images and information about this brand new DX set. That's me so, so sick. sick. Limit break set. Oh my god, everything is new. Yep, so it's a DX set. The stadium is the part that I'm super hyped about because yeah. for the whole like Beyblade Burst season, we've been using the standard base stadium. For and, real. Yeah, I guess Takara totally wanted to keep things consistent for the meta game and things like that. So it's pretty rare that they release um, like new stadiums uh, inside the DX set. Yeah, like there hasn't been a new stadium release since I think like the big base stadium, which we bought a long time ago already. Yeah, that uh, one was like a limited edition. Yeah, one too, so. and that stadium's like 500 bucks a piece now. It's like crazy expensive. Should have bought more. It's For so real. expensive now. Yeah. And they break rather easily too when you battle like really hard in them. So yeah, we should have. But yeah, no new stadium in so long. So I guess that's like one thing that Hasbro is good at is like they pump out new stadiums legit like almost every release mm -hmm. right like they got like a new box set here's another new stadium Takara told me it's like the opposite we get the good bays but we only, only get a new stadium true. once every like two years true, or true. something yeah this stadium uh, from Takara told me it kind of reminds you of the big stadium though now that you a talked about that because the grooves it helps the bays get redirected back towards yeah. the middle and it kind of like curves upwards yeah and yeah, then yeah, like, it's got it'll probably come back bridge. down um, on top of that, we also get new launchers too. So if you guys thought that sparking launchers were already powerful, now we're getting long versions of that. So that is crazy. And hopefully we don't break them. <laughs> Dude, I think they're going to be like, I was hoping cause like when we post on Instagram about it, I was like, yo, I hope it's more durable. I don't think it's going to be, it's probably going to break just as easily, it's, it's, but yeah. Well, are we are going to break it just as easily. Yeah. Maybe not you guys. Um, I hope that they release those launchers kind of like in a separate release because well, dude, what if we break our long launchers? Like, yo, we have to buy a whole new DX set. I'm sure they will release another, <laughs> like, something, like, new on we top of that. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. It's like, no, no rumors about that yet. But, um, yeah, if you have to buy, like, a new $100 set every single time just to replace one launcher, that'd be pretty upsetting. True. Um, yeah, so those are the accessories. And, of course, like, we yeah. didn't talk about the base. Yeah. Those are yeah. brand new. That's the most hype uh, part. Hyperion, yeah. Helios base. So, yeah. yeah, they get an evolution, too, now. Yeah, and then, um, I... There's like not as many details about it yet. Like we want to wait a little bit longer, right? Once more stuff is confirmed and then, you know, we'll talk about it some more. But yeah, like they have brand new driver attachments, which is crazy, right? Because now we're adding to the sparking system. Hmm. Now you can play uh, with these bays with or without that extra attachment. Cool. So that's yeah. really sick. Yeah, tell us in the comment section below if you guys are hyped with uh, the DX set release. I'm super excited for mid-November when uh, this thing releases. Yeah. So that also means in anime, you know, yep. Helios is going to break or something is going to happen oh, to it. We, yeah, may, or they'll just abandon their bay. We'll never know. Like, but like, we, we don't want to. Yeah, 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 yeah. but that seems like really messed up. Like yeah, most, yeah. most bladers don't do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, yeah, like assuming that they're going to break, right? Yeah. More destroyed bays. Got to love it. And then upgrade. So yeah. yeah. But yeah, let's talk about the anime then, I guess, sure. um, since we were kind of on that topic already. Uh, what happened recently? So we don't want to spoil like too too much, but yeah, Aiga has been a big part of it, right? Since If and Achilles is coming out, Aiga just kind of like I guess they kind of wrote him off now, sort of, <laughs> right? Like he just took a big L, right, yeah. against Ren. Uh, but he did also beat him once, right? No one else has technically beat him yet, right? Except for the newest episodes, like no spoilers. But we won't talk about the latest latest. Mm -hmm. But in the last couple, you know, Aiga yeah. defeated him and also got defeated by him. So yeah. All your Iga fans, where are you guys at? Are you guys upset that Iga lost? If you're upset, go buy the new Beyblades. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I'm, I'm kind of like low key happy that he lost <laughs> because I want some other main character, or other person to beat the big bad guy. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It'd be yeah. really stupid to see like Iga, who was like the main character in Turbo, ends up being like the strongest and like, hey, yeah, I'm taking over the show, guys. I'm back. I'm the main character now. <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I almost forget that there's like too many main characters now in yeah. the anime. It's like yeah. they're technically not main characters anymore. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, that's the anime. You guys go check out those episodes. We won't spoil too much more. Yeah. 
So those are kind of like the Beyblade news. Um, shall we react to some of the comments? Yeah. Do you have one to feature? Yeah, there's okay. Like, there's not one specific one. That's because we have like a thousand of them. But I really wanted to talk about it. So during our kind of like subscribe promo, you know, usually in like the beginning of our videos, we let you guys know like, hey, if you guys haven't, like, it'd be awesome if you guys subscribe. And yeah. then we show um, basically a clip of us holding up our phone and our YouTube channel. And everyone comments since the beginning of time since we started doing this about our battery life. And it's like every single time we update that clip, so we go from like 500k subs to 600k to 700k, we change the clip every once in a while to make it relevant to how many subs we have. Mm -hmm. The battery level just drops lower and lower and lower. And everyone's just like, guys, charge your phones. What's wrong with your battery life? Your phone's about to die. It's funny because I'm on, at 4% right now. I'm on low power mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like I'm sure my phone, like we're using it, uh, you know, to record some stuff right now, but like my phone's probably also going to die too. My yeah, iPad is at 82%, so the iPad's good. That's the thing because we use our phones to record all of our footage actually so yeah. um they like battery just goes down if yeah. you're recording the whole time right? yeah well, there's another angle in the on the battles and stuff like that we do actually use them a lot yeah. yeah but i just found it super hilarious that you guys like so many people commented about that They're like battery life guys get that phone on a charger yeah we we made it uh low power on purpose just yeah. so you guys can comment on just it. for a little bit of drama yeah. Yeah. maybe when we hit like um two million subs then we'll uh, charge your phones no i'm gonna be at one percent all the time. Zero percent, <laughs> charge up to one and start using it, let it die, one percent again. Live on the edge. Live on the edge. <laughs> like a maniac, going a psychopath would do yeah. that. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I'd wanted to talk about that because so many people have commented about it. Yeah. But yeah, go ahead. Next um, comment. I don't have too many to feature as well, but I see one that's talking about like how um, you guys are watching on like video conference calls like or you guys are watching us during your video conference calls. So uh, you guys are like in class and stuff like yeah. that. And you guys are watching the podcast or listening to the podcast yeah. um, and putting your teachers on mute and <laughs> disabling your cameras. Guys, that's, that what's happening? that's slacking, bro. Stop slacking, guys. <laughs> but mad respect for you guys, mad props. Yeah. And at the same time, super thankful that you guys would take the time to listen to our BG Talks episodes. But you should probably pay attention in class. Yeah. Thanks for yeah. supporting us. Uh, yeah, just... Don't skip school or don't skip yeah. calls now. Yeah, exactly. Don't, don't be skipping calls to listen to Beachy Talks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, you can have it on the side playing in the background. Like, all right, but don't skip your classes. Sorry, teacher. My, my computer yeah. uh, uh, camera is broken and uh, <laughs> my mic was broken too. So. Yeah, so and my keyboard was broken. So I couldn't everything respond. was broken. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, mad shout out to you guys who watch our Beachy Talks episodes. You guys are the best. Yeah. Um, and then the next one I just want to talk about is... Back to the, the topic about the fake Beyblades. Um, so um, we have comments like, happy to get your, that you got your money back, Steven. It's funny that the seller said it was a mistake on their part. And uh, you know, after you guys you know, totally embarrassed them, them and, <laughs> and now they're able to give you money back. That's exactly what happens. You know, we didn't want this to be uh, such a big thing in the beginning. And then we were just asking, them, you know, we review Beyblades and yeah. uh, this is definitely fake. And they're yeah. like, nope, it's not. I'm like, mm, okay, I guess we'll okay, show you in a yes, video. Yes, and that's how this yeah. kind of topic became a thing. Yeah. So if you guys don't know what we're talking about, you guys can watch the previous BBG Talks yeah, or the, a few back. the fake Beyblade video. Yeah. Um, but don't worry, guys. We don't get scammed that often. This is like a once in like 10 year yeah, thing. Legit. Um, we have never ever, ever gotten scammed before it's true. other than that yeah. occurrence. So don't worry, guys. We're doing all the due diligence and researching. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to uh, give us... All the uh, tips. Yeah, exactly. I'm getting like DMs being like, yo, BG Brendan, like, yo, check out this website and stuff. I'm like, yeah, okay, thanks, man. <laughs> but it's like, but it's like, yeah, that website like has been around for like 10 years and we've been using it this whole time or something like that. But yeah, it's just buy, like, buy from yeah, Amazon. You guys like care about us, which is awesome. Yeah. Like, it's so nice to see you guys are like, yo, protect, like, don't buy fakes, go here. Yeah. And it's, it's like, like, go to Amazon. Yeah. Like, guys. So they didn't even watch the whole BBG talks. They just watched like the first minute where we talked yeah. about getting scammed and they exited the video. Don't worry. Don't feel too bad for us. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. We got it. We got it down, guys. <laughs> Speaking of buying days, we should probably talk about our giveaway plans coming up yeah. this holiday season. Yeah, so yeah. we weren't able to do too many giveaways uh, like recently just yeah. because of like rules, like regulations. There's different like policy that. changes on YouTube all the time and yeah. stuff like that. So it was like hard to do giveaways on YouTube. So but, yeah, we're moving we, that. Yeah, we're moving that. We decided to like change it up and we're going to do it on Instagram. We haven't been too active on Instagram. So I think we're going to try to change that. Uh, make sure you guys are all following us and we're going to be uh, posting our giveaway contests yeah. and challenges over there yeah. instead. I think it's going to work a lot better. Yeah, so if you guys want some free base, make sure you guys go check us out on Instagram. Um, yeah, we're going to try and give away as much as we can and stuff. Yeah. Back we'll, to you maybe guys. Maybe we'll do it like weekly. I don't know how often, but we'll aim for weekly 
during the holiday season. Yeah, like, we'll, we'll try it. I mean, it's, it's a time of giving, right? So, yeah, I mean, exactly. I give it back to all of our epic BBGs. So that pretty much sums up our BG Talks episode for this uh, particular month, I guess. Mm-hmm. We'll maybe do a little bit more soon when the DX set comes out. Uh, once there's more details and whatnot, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If so- you guys have any comments, feedback for us, tell mm-hmm. us in the comment section below. Uh, like the video, subscribe, follow us, and as yeah. always, Geeks, geeks out! out.